In Unit 3.1, we focus on three-digit addition and three-digit subtraction. This video will take you through some strategies students are working on for three-digit addition. Here we have the problem 236 plus 341. We'll take a look at solving this problem with a base 10 model. First, I'll create a chart showing hundreds tens, ones, so that my problem solving is organized. I'll go ahead and I'll draw out 200, 30, and 6. Then I'll go ahead and draw out 300, 40, 1. Now what I'll need to do is I'll need to go ahead and add all of these in each different column. So I'll start with the ones. In this area I have 7. Here I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And here I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So my answer is 577. This base 10 problem will have regrouping. Again, I'll set it up so that I show hundreds, tens, ones. I'll draw out 200, 30, 10, 20, 30, and 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then I'll draw out 400, 16. There's 200, 300, 400. There's the 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now what I need to do is add the numbers in the ones place. So it's 7 and 6. That's 13. And in the tens place, I have 40. In the hundreds place, I have 600. What I need to do here, though, is I've got this 10 in the ones place. I have to push that 10 over. And I can show it here as well. There's 7, 8, 9, 10. This right here is the 10. I push it over. Boom. And now I've got 50 instead of 40. And... The 600 is fine, there's 50, and now I have the 3 here. So the answer is 653. I'm going to solve this problem using expanded form. I will make my chart showing hundreds, tens, ones. I'll pull apart 236 in expanded form. 300, 40, 1 in expanded form. I remind myself that I'm adding 6 plus 1 is 7, 30 plus 40 is 70, 200 plus 300 is 500. My numbers are good, 1s, 10s, 100s. I'll put them all back together to get 577. I'm going to solve this problem with expanded form and there will be regrouping. I will go ahead and make my chart of hundreds, tens, ones. I'll pull apart 237 in expanded form, 400, 10 and 6 in expanded form, and I will show that I am adding. 7 plus 6 is 13, 30 plus 10 is 40, and 200 plus 400 is 600. I'll take a look at my numbers. These can only have 1s, so what happens is I need to take this 10 and push it over to the 10 area. 
So 40 is now 50, and 13 is now 3. So I regrouped those numbers. This is hundreds, so it's perfect. So the answer is 653. 653. I'll solve this problem by using an open number line. I'll begin at 341. I'll jump 200. Then I'll jump 30. And then I will jump six ones to get my final answer. Each time I make my jumps, I will log where I land. So I begin with 341. So 341 plus 200 is 541. 541 plus 30 is 571. And then 571 plus 6 is 577. So the final answer is 500. 77. I'll solve this problem using an open number line. I'll begin with 416. I will jump 200. Then I will jump 30. Then I will jump 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that'll get me my final answer. Each one of these jumps is a 1. So I'll go back to 416 and 200 more is 616. 30 more is 646. And now I'll go ahead and just count on from 646 jumping seven more. So 646, 647, 648, 649, 650, 651, 652, 653 is my final answer. 653. This strategy will be called the pull down method. What we're going to do is have three places for our numbers. This will be our hundreds, this will be our tens, and this will be our ones. We can pull down, for example, the hundreds first. 200 and 300 are 500. Then we can grab the numbers that are in the tens place. 30, 40, that's 70. And then finally, we can grab the number in the ones place, 6 and 1, that's 7. So our final answer is 577. Here is our final strategy, pull down strategy with regrouping. So I'll go ahead and set up hundreds, tens, ones, and I'll label it. And I will grab my hundreds. I've got 200 and 400. So I have 600 there. I have 30 and 10. So this is 40. And then I have 7 and 6. That gives me 13. So I have to look at this and I have to realize that in the ones place I have a 10. And that 10 needs to be pushed over to the tens place. So 40 is now 50. That 10 has been pushed over. So the final answer is 653. 653. So students can use any of these strategies that they'd like. They should focus on the one that helps them get the right answer and the one they feel most comfortable with. But it's a good idea to be exposed to all the different strategies.